Welcome to Wednesday of week 3. So we have an Indonesian dish called telur, telur Bumbu Kemangi and I might not have said it right. But basically it's an egg dish in a spicy basil sauce. So we need a lot of basil. So you can see from the ingredients list we have the basils that will go into the sauce plus some for garnish. The other ingredients are, so we'll make a paste out of the shallots, the, uh, the garlic, and these are macadamia nuts. And then <clears throat> we have some tamarind juice. So I use concentrate and I put in a little bit of water. So one tablespoon. I have some lemongrass, which will give it a beautiful lemony smell. And then we have two types of chilies, so it's a spicy dish, so we have two types of chilies. So in the recipe they say Anaheim uh, chilies. I couldn't find Anaheim, I got this red um, chilies. And then these are, so again bird's eye I couldn't find, bird's eye chilies. Uh, I got these green chilies instead. And then I have some sugar. Uh, and then obviously the eggs. So we will, um, we will puree these uh, for the spice mix and then uh, let us talk about the eggs. So I took the eggs out a little bit earlier uh, to bring it to room temperature, right? So it's still not there but pretty much um, there. And then, so these are 12 eggs. Um, I'm boiling 12 cups of water. And when it starts to boil, I'll put the eggs in for exactly 13 minutes. And then once the 13 minutes are up, I will put it into a cold ice bath. What that will do are two things. One is it will stop the cooking and it will take the shell and, uh, and separate it from the white. So that's the idea. And then when I, when I take the shells off or peel the shells off, I will do it under cold water. So these three steps will ensure that I have a perfectly co cooked hard boiled egg. Now if I wanted to have a soft boiled egg, I would have done it for about six and a half to seven minutes. Spice mix, I put the macadamia nuts and these are the garlic cloves that I sliced. And these are the shallots. So I have four shallots here that I slice to make it easier. So that's it. I will start this and then if I need a little bit of water um, to make it happen then I, I'll put in a little bit of water but at this point I'll start off with the with this. This is how the paste looks. So this has shallots, macadamia nuts and garlic. The, the water is boiling here. I have like I said 12 cups of water and so these are room temperature eggs because if you put um, you know cold eggs it will burst. So these are room temperature eggs, so I'm going to put them in. And I want to put them in as soon as possible because the 13 minutes will start as soon as I put the last one in. So that's it. And then we'll cook it for 13 minutes. That's 13 minutes. So I'm going to pick up the eggs and I have the ice bath ready here so I'll put it in this should stop the cooking immediately and and let it cool fully before um, before peeling it peel the eggs Let's start uh, the cooking. So this is on medium high heat. So I'll put two tablespoons of oil. 
and to this I'll add the chilies, the bay leaf, the lemongrass and the paste. So let it cook till it's fragrant and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. So the chilies are really hot so this will make it spicy. This is cooked it's fragrant so I'm going to add the coconut milk I mixed it with a little bit of water and so I want to bring this to a boil and then we'll simmer it I want to add also to this the tamarind paste that we have or concentrate So this will give it that tangy flavor. So as it comes to a boil, then we'll add the eggs. So this has come to a boil. At this point I want to add the eggs. And then I want to season it with the sugar and salt. And then we lower the heat and let it come to let it simmer for a few minutes till it's thick. We'll taste it. So let's taste it and see if we need to add anything else. Maybe a little bit of salt. This tastes good so I don't need anything at this point. So we'll let it simmer for a few minutes and then we'll add the basil. This has been simmering for about 7 minutes, 7-8 seven, minutes. So now you can see that the sauce has really thickened. So what we will do is we'll add the um, the, ba uh, the basil and let it come to uh, wilt. So that will give the the curry um, the flavor of basil. So that will, that should take you know a couple of minutes. So as you can see, it has started wilting. So we'll mix it together. And then we have some added basil here for garnish. I want to prep some of the items for tomorrow, that is Thursday. Uh, first one is I want to uh, boil the noodles and put it in a mold so that I can fry it tomorrow. I put it in the fridge after that um, and then we'll fry it tomorrow and you'll see the presentation really comes out well. So that's one thing. And then the second thing is I want to marinate the chicken. Um, you know you can always marinate up to four hours or you know if you don't have that time maybe up to one hour but I really like to marinate the chicken for uh, about a day uh, what that does is it, it really uh, the, the marinade mixes with the chicken and gives it a really good flavor so for the marinade what we need is um, half fluid ounce of So, soy sauce, so that's about half. And then we need half fluid ounce of, this is um, Chinese wine, cooking wine. Um, and then sugar, so that's half teaspoon of sugar. and then toasted sesame seed oil so that's uh, half teaspoon
and to this I'll add the garlic, the ginger and the green onions, the white part of the green onions. And I'll also add a little bit of chicken stock. So I'll mix this first. And oh, that melts really good. So I'll put this on the chicken. mix this first and then I want to add cornstarch, one teaspoon of cornstarch I think for the chicken I'll need a little bit more so I'll add a little bit more cornstarch. At this point I want to use my hands to mix it really well. So make sure you, um, you wash your hands properly. So that's it, uh, that's the marinade, I'll put it in the fridge overnight and then we'll, we'll cook it tomorrow. So we are ready with uh, telur bumbu kemangi or the spicy egg curry in a basil sauce. Uh, so this is it and then we serve it with rice. Um, I wanted to show you how I prep the, uh, the noodles. So I have boiled the noodles in um, salted water and then I'm going to put some, um, the, some sesame oil. So this will give it a beautiful smell. Not too much because otherwise it will overpower it. Mix it together. And then I have prepped this um, these plastic container and, and I cut a cake round, two of them. So to fit this pan and then sprayed it with um, olive oil. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into this mold. So put this into this mold, put this on the top, press it down and then close it and then keep this in the fridge. So what it will do is it will make this into a mold and then when I, when I um, fry it tomorrow it will come out exactly a round beautiful fried uh, noodle. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Hope you enjoy this recipe and um, bon appetit.